All right, welcome back to AP Statistics. Uh, again, I'm not affiliated with the College Board. I teach in a high school where I'm known as Dr. Kling. And we're on to Lesson 7, Joint Probability. Joint Probability is the probability of two events. So I write it as the probability of A and B. This little thing in the middle is an ampersand, and what that means, that's this stands for the word and. Okay, so let's, uh, let's have an example in mind. An example that I always like to use is this guy. This is um, the Washington Redskins perennially under owner Dan Snyder uh, typically don't make the playoffs, so rarely make the playoffs, and often fire their coach. So let's use those as our two events. Namely, let's define event A as, let's say they make the playoffs. So A, event A is that the Redskins make the playoffs. And event B is that they fire the coach. And I'm going to make up some probabilities for these events. Let's say the probability that they make the playoffs is 0.3 and the probability that they fire the coach is 0.4 and let's say that the probability of both of those things happening is 0.1 so what that means is that they make the playoffs and they fire the coach. Um, you might think that's unlikely because they'd be so excited that they made the playoffs, but you can imagine if the coach had mouthed off to the owner or had done something to offend a lot of Redskins fans, then uh, you could still get fired. So that's a, the probability of the two events happening together, that they make the playoffs and the coach gets fired. Um, notice I used the word and or both, so joint probability will be using these words like and or both or together. Okay, and you can re represent joint probability in a number of ways in diagrams. You can use a Venn diagram, you can use a tree diagram. I like to use what I call a contingency table and what over the years my students have had me just calling a box. So let's just, let's draw the box and I'll show you how we do this. Okay, so event A, you'll recall, is make the playoffs. Make the playoffs. And I'm going to define an event called AC, or the complement of A, which means not A, so don't make the playoffs. And then we had B, coach is fired. So I'm going to put, by the way, I'll take this AC and I'll put it right here next to A, and I'll put B here. And I'll put B, C here. The complement of B is that the coach is not fired. So inside this box are four joint probabilities. Okay, on the upper right we have A and B, which is the one that I make playoffs and fired and then so that's the upper right and then ANBC which is the lower right would be make playoffs and not fired and we could do similarly there's an ACNB so which I won't write out, but that's um, don't make the playoffs and the coach is fired. That would seem to be a typical Dan Snyder year. 
and then also we have AC and BC which would be don't make the playoffs and the coach is not fired okay so let's go back up to this thing and I wanna show how we can use this box to fill everything in based on just a few pieces of information I told you that the probability of A was 0.4 and that that number belongs down here where it represents the probability of A. And the probability, I think that's what I did if I'm not making the playoffs is 0.4. No, I said 0.3. So let me undo that. Hang on. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, okay let's make that 0.3 that they make the playoffs. Three. And then the probability that the uh, coach is fired is B, and that's 0.4, and so we could put it across from B. And the probabilities both ways add up to 1. Let me just break this off a little bit. So they add up to 1. So we know that the probability that the coach is not fired is 0.6. If there's a 40% chance that he's fired, then there's a 60% chance not fired. If there's a 30% chance that they make the playoffs, then there's a 70% chance that you don't make the playoffs. So that's how you can fill in numbers, missing numbers along the, uh, the edges outside. And we have one inside number. We have A and B, the probability that they make the playoffs and the coach is fired. I made that up as 0.1. And you'll notice that from that we can get all the other numbers in the, in the box. How can we do that? Well down here this plus this has to the top right plus the bottom right has to add to the number below the 0.3. So 0.1 plus 0.2 equals 0.3. And now this number in the top left, let's see, can we do that? Yes, because we want to get 0.1 plus whatever this number is is equal to 0.4. So that's going to have to be 0.3. And then we can add this way or we can add this way. Either way, we need 0.4 for, these, for this probability. So now we have all possible combination of events. Even though we we're only given the probability of A here, the probability of B here, and the probability of A and B here, we could derive the other three probabilities from that by using the box, by using what has to add up. And so we've done that, and that gives us uh, everything we need to do, know about joint probability. Next time we're going to complicate this by talking about conditional probability. See you then.